I want to take you on a journey up the entrepreneurial ladder. This is the ladder you climb to create wealth through business. Ultimately, the creation of wealth is not just about the cash flow, it's about the deals you do, it's about the investments, it's about building businesses that work without you. It's really the entrepreneurial roadmap to you creating serious wealth in your life through business. You see, when I wrote my book, Billionaire in Training, I understood that people needed to see what is the roadmap to wealth. Now, we all start off as a student. And of course, as a student, we're not actually making money, we're costing money. You know, we have to spend the money to go to school. Now, once you graduate from school, ultimately you want to become an employee. See, school is like an apprenticeship to become an employee. Well, employeeship is like an apprenticeship to your own business. You want to have multiple different jobs in different areas, so you learn a bunch of things. You want to learn sales, you want to learn marketing, you want to learn all the different aspects of business. So when you do go into business for yourself, you're not the one having to learn it. You've already learned it and you were paid to learn how to do these things. See, ultimately to earn more, you've got to learn more. Now, once you become an employee and you learn a bunch and you have many different jobs, you might start your own business or buy into a business and become self-employed. The challenge is there's still a lot to learn at self-employed and that's why it can feel like a seesaw. Find the work, do the work, make the sale, do the work because what you're doing is learning. You're learning everything from sales and marketing. Anything you didn't learn as an employee, you're gonna to have to learn it when you start your own business. And that's why it's struggle at the start for most small businesses. The amount of knowledge you have to take on sales, marketing, taxation, purchasing, IT, you name it, you're the owner, you've gotta learn it. Now eventually as you succeed, you start to employ others and you move up to level two, the manager. At manager level though, now everyone's asking you questions. Now they're coming to you for answers. And sometimes it doesn't feel like they work for you, it feels like you work for them. In fact, it's off the seesaw, onto the merry-go-round, running round and round in circles, putting out fires they start. We're just trading time for money stuff down here, but it's because we've got a lot to learn. Ultimately though, you can step up to being the owner. You can build a business that works so you don't have to. My definition, a commercial profitable enterprise that works without you. That profit is where we move from trading time for money to actually getting a result. We've invested, we've built a business that works so we don't have to. That, my friends, then leads us to become an investor. See, trading time for money isn't really where we wanna be. We wanna build that money up and then start investing. Now, there's three categories of investments that we wanna to look towards. Businesses, there's real estate, and there's shares. And of course, you wanna learn all three because different cycles of the market, different ones are making a whole bunch of money. So when you learn all three, businesses, real estate, and shares, you set yourself up for success. Now the ultimate investor is the entrepreneur. See, investors are buying investments with their money. Entrepreneurs are creating investments, creating capital for others to invest into. You see, if you can start this entrepreneurial ladder, you can build a business that works without you, become an investor and ultimately an entrepreneur. Come chat with us here at Action Coach. You see, we help business owners every day build businesses that work and build wealth through business.